Name two pairs you would like to evict. You have 10 seconds. Flourish and trees. Trees and flourish. Flourish and trees. Trees and radicals. Flourish and trees. Radicals and trees. Flourish and trees. Radicals and trees. Think in your head when everybody is saying this is what we're going to do, and you want to go and do the opposite. How does that make any sense? Regardless of whether you're friends or not, do you don't think I'm friends with trees? Do you think I'm going to know my boys? Do you think I wanted to vote trees? No, but I understood the assignment because if they know that they can trust me in that making that decision and aligning, what well, is another time that I need to, to make the certain decisions? I'll be able to align people. So let me make this decision because in the long run, it makes more sense. Sean and Victoria. Hmm. At this point in time, their partnership looks like a complete disaster. After every eviction, it's no news that Victoria and Sean will always have conversation, okay, after every eviction. But yesterday on was more of an argument and back and forth. Sean raising his voice and trying to, like, make Victoria understand the importance of alliance. We all know how the whole eviction went down yesterday, whereby housemates were expected to like vote out the remaining on that three. Victoria wanted to vote radicals and streets. She's cool with the flourish. Why um, Sean went for this argument? He said the house decided to vote out streets and flourish. It was a combined agreement within the house for those that are in an alliance although some persons voted for streets and radicals if you watch closely most of them voted streets and flourish sean was trying to like explain to victoria that it's not about friendship it's not about friendship because if it's about friendship it's actually close to the streets the streets are is you know one of his close people in that house but he just had to do what he had to do because this is like a group agreement and it would not make any sense if he went into the diary room and did, you know, a different thing. So Victoria was not happy about how the whole thing went because she had a different option. Sean literally was trying to like make a valid point. He was saying if everyone is saying this, is what we are going to do and you are doing the opposite does it make any sense okay that is why i keep saying being sharp sometimes you have to make the heat on me because i have majority of the alliance um i'm always 10 step ahead of you you have to be able to make decisions on the spot like i understand what sean was saying because they had like only 10 seconds to make that decision but his manner of approach guys Mind you, I like Sean and Victoria as individuals. I love these two people, but as partners, it's just, it's just very off. I see Sean. Sean is a cool guy. Like, without doubt, he's a cool guy. But whenever he's with Victoria, his manner of approach just changes. The way he spoke to Victoria yesterday... I know he was trying to make a valid point, but nah. I see the way he's very soft-spoken with the girls, with his friends in the house, with one ex and the... But whenever it comes to Victoria, Victoria is always tough. Which one is you need to think? You need to use your head. There are other ways to say something without, you know, sounding very condescending. And we know that Victoria is not the kind of person that is loud. You know, they were having their back and forth. And at some point, Victoria now asked, if it's checkers, what would you have done? And he said he would have done the same thing because obviously the house would want to save checkers. I get the point. He had, what he was doing was actually good because he's trying to form alliance. And this house in this season, it is obvious that alliance is one thing that you need in that house it has played out from the first week and it is working out for those that understand the need of that alliance okay i get it 
But Victoria was trying to be like emotional, you know, I am cool with the Ruthie and DJ Flo. I don't want to see them leave. Why Sean was saying, I am cool with streets. They are my guys. I don't want them to leave. But this is a general consensus. This is the agreement we had. You don't expect me to agree and now go inside and do something different. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I really think that Sean is being hard on Victoria, to be honest. Guys, you all know what happened yesterday now. With the doctor and Ebuka shaking tables, okay? Doctor has been explaining himself, explaining himself. And I love what Cassia said to Victoria. Cassia said, hmm, now we know that. I'm broken daughter. Nearly our broken daughter has been dethroned. Cassia said, hmm, now we know that. Our doctor is a proco doctor. <laughs> Which one is a proco doctor again? To be honest, the, the housemates had a very high esteem for that guy. But with the whole review, nah, it really fell a lot of people's hands yesterday. Uh uh. Doctor calling people snake and idiots. Can you imagine? <laughs> Doctor, doctor, our beloved therapist is not as innocent as we think. Moving on, guys. Did you see Onyeka and Victoria having a conversation about Ozzy? <laughs> Genuinely tell me how you felt when you saw Onyeka explaining herself. We all know that Ozzy and Victoria has been getting close. Why Onyeka and Ozzy has been like, I don't know if I should say besties undefined ship or situation ship so guys oyeka felt the need to like explain herself telling victoria that eh, there's actually nothing going on between me and ozzy we are just like besties besties nothing serious even the day ozzy said i should come and you know share bed together nothing happened everybody just did their day you know, I notice you're getting closer to him, so I don't want things to feel awkward, blah, blah, blah. And Victoria was not like, he, she understand, although, like, they are not really doing anything. Yes, they are speaking and getting close, but there is no bonding going on, okay? I understand it has a relationship. Nothing going on between the both of us. Yes, I understand the other day there was some form of alcohol and, you know, yeah. But there is nothing. I respect the guy's relationship. That was what Victoria was saying. Why did Oyeka feel the need to like explain herself to Victoria? <laughs> I don't get it. That girl, eh? That girl has a way of digging into you and bringing out information. <laughs> it felt so weird seeing her having that conversation with Victoria. Victoria said, we are not doing anything. You know, there's honestly nothing there. We are just cool. Like, okay, cool, cool, cool. But Nasha, they cool, though. Because with the hand movement thing I saw on Sunday, on Saturday night, it must be really cool. <laughs> I would like to hear your honest opinion about Sean and Victoria. What do you guys think? I like these two persons together, but their partnership style, mm, you know, jig. Hey everybody, this is DJ Flo. Hi guys, my name is Ruthie <laughs> yes, and we are Flourish. Flourish. <laughs> I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Love. We truly appreciate it. Three weeks of events for consistently voting for us from the first week till now. Una don't try. Una thank try so well, much. well. Thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. You made our journey even more interesting because yeah. we knew that, I mean, back home we had like support from you guys and we do appreciate you guys thank you so thank much, you so much. Thank, you. thank you from flourish <laughs> love, you. love you bye guys i'm toby ford and i'm your fruit together we are straight so we really want to appreciate everybody that's been voting for us from day one till now we really appreciate the love and thank you right i want to say a very big thank you for loving us this far we hope we're able to you know make you um happy yeah and happy and entertaining yes yeah. so big love we appreciate the love and support we can't make to meet our fans let's right. get cooking yeah so thank you so much guys